Hello, everyone. As the Battle of Bakhmut continues to grind on, there is no other word for it, our focus today is going to be the activities of Russia's elite mercenary group Wagner and its leader Prigozhin. So let's dive in. Russia's elite mercenary group Wagner has been considered the best of the best. However, months after months of losses and specifically being stuck at Bakhmut, had severely undermined the prestige of the group and the prestige specifically of their leader, Yevgeny Rogozhin. He literally tried to place bets as to how fast they could take um, Ukrainian cities, and he lost all of those bets. So he is really close to seriously falling out of favor with his boss at this point. This article is in Reuters. Please look it up and read it in its entirety. Um, it's long but worth the read. It talks of one of the big projects between Putin and Rogozhin to beef up the ranks uh, of Russian army and specifically Wagner Group by recruiting Russia's convicts. People they talk to in this article are those convicts, several of them, I think four or five of them. And they talk about their experience. But what is scary is the article includes what they were initially imprisoned for. These people have been given full pardon. This is how they view themselves. They now view themselves beyond the law and superior to other Russian citizens. These are convicted thieves, serial kidnappers, rapists, murderers, serial murderers that are now being released back into Russian society and Russian people, especially those who support Putin and support this war, I hope you're ready for this. In other news, 500 of um, civilians from my home region of Zaporizhia currently confirmed in Russia's captivity. There's probably more. This is just the ones we know of. And considering they're on the hostile side right now, there's no telling what's going to happen to these people. And there's been an explosion at the security services building in uh, the Russian city of Rostov. They're blaming electrical problems. But as usual, I have to wonder, there's been quite a few of those quote-unquote accidents among the Russia's military objects lately. Thank you for watching.